Hey everyone, welcome to the tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a procedural grass generator using geometry nodes in Blender. This technique is perfect for adding realistic grass to your landscapes or any other project that needs a natural touch. By the end of this video, you'll also have a reusable scatter node group that will make your future projects even easier. So grab your mouse and let's get started. To start, we need to gather the resources for our project. I'm using assets from Quixel Megascans to create the grassland. Let's start by setting up our scene. Press Shift plus A to add a plane. Then enter Edit Mode by hitting Tab. Once you're in Edit Mode, press S and type 5 to scale the plane 5 times its original size. Now switch over to the Geometry Nodes tab. Click on New to create a new Geometry Node tree and let's name it Grass Generator. Next, we'll add the nodes we need. Search for the Distribute Points on Faces node and add it to the node tree. Then, Search for and add an instance on points node. Connect it right after the distribute points node. After that, add a join geometry node. Connect the group input and instance on points nodes to the join geometry node, and then connect the join geometry node to the group output. In the distribute points on faces node, make sure pick instances is checked and set the distribution method to Poisson disk. Now let's add some grass. Go to the outliner and select a grass collection. Make sure separate children and reset children are both checked. Then connect the grass collection as the instance in the instance on points node. Next, we'll control the rotation of the grass. Drag the rotation value from the distribute points on faces node and connect it to a rotate instances node. To add some randomness, search for a random value node, set it to vector, and connect it to the rotate instances node. You can adjust the min and max values to get the effect you want. Finally, we'll add some variation in scale. Search for a noise texture node and connect it to the scale input of the instance on points node. To refine this, add a map range node and a color ramp node between the noise texture and scale input. Tweak the map range and color ramp until you achieve the desired grass distribution. Now we're going to group some of these nodes to create a reusable scatter system. Select the instance distribution nodes except for the noise texture and color ramp. Press Cottrell plus G to group them. To make this group more user-friendly, connect the values you want to control to the group input nodes. Name them according to what you see in the video. For more control over rotation, add a combine XYZ node and connect it to the max value of the random value node. Then add a math node, set it to multiply with a value of one and connect it to the min value. Now, let's name this group Basic Scatter. With our Basic Scatter group ready, we can easily duplicate it and assign different collections to each group. To add more variation, you can also include a Noise Texture node for each group. Finally, add a Join Geometry node and connect all the scatter groups to it. This will combine them into a single output. From here, you can tweak the values within the nodes to get the best results for your scene. And that's it. You've just created a fully functional grass generator and a scatter node group that you can use in all your Blender projects. Pretty cool, right? Now you have the tools to add some awesome grass effects to your scenes with just a few tweaks. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on more Blender tips and tricks. If you have any questions or want to show off your work, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and happy blending.